Hi, welcome to my kitchen. We are going to make a very yummy Spanish rice casserole today. Now this isn't like your typical Spanish rice. It's fluffy and it kind of falls apart and it has a, a very Mexican flavor type of thing. This is more like a casserole. You can pick it up with chips. I love to eat it with chips. Um, it has a vegan cheese sauce in it, so it's condensed together. But it is super yummy. The original recipe was not vegan at all. It had Velveeta cheese in it. And long time ago, my friend Lindsay and I um, changed this recipe so that it was vegan. And so it's one of our favorites. We love to eat it with chips, and we love to eat it with peas or beans, some sort of legume. It is very yummy. So we're just gonna get right in. We're gonna start by sauteing some onion, about one medium onion diced. Now we're gonna saute it in some earth balance margarine. Um, the original recipe called for a half a stick of margarine, or a full stick of margarine, which is half of a cup. We're going to use about four tablespoons. You could probably saute the onion in vegetable broth or water and be just fine. Uh, we just cut way down on the oil. So we're going to saute it till it is partially soft, a little translucent, just to get it partially cooked. Because we're also going to bake this in the oven, so anything that isn't cooked all the way through with the onion will be fine. Our onion is just about done, and once you see that your onion is partially cooked through, then we're going to go ahead and add, go ahead and add the rice. The rice that I'm using today is mostly brown rice, but there's also some white rice in there. I've done it with just white rice, just brown rice. I've done it with a mixture, so you can really use any type of rice that you want. It's about four to five cups of already cooked rice. So we're going to go ahead and spoon this in there. I have to tell you, when I normally cook this, I usually don't measure. So we're going to put some in there, save a little, see if I need more. All measurements are approximate. We'll have this recipe on my blog, and uh, we'll try to get pretty specific there. So we just saute that around for just 30 seconds or so. And then we're going to add our cheese sauce, one can of petite diced tomatoes, and then some onion powder and some cumin. All right, now we have about two cups of cheese sauce here, and this is the potato carrot recipe that I did in another video. You can find that link in the description below. If you think you need a little more than two cups, then you just add that. If you need a little less, then don't add as much. I'm going to add the tomatoes at the same time. And stir all of this around so that it's mixed thoroughly. You will find that this plant-based recipe has much less fat and no cholesterol as compared to a dairy recipe where we use the Velveeta cheese. All right, now we are going to put in, we're going to sprinkle this in a little at a time because I usually just sprinkle it from the bottle. That's about a teaspoon. I think we're going to add two teaspoons onion powder. And we're going to add about a teaspoon of cumin. We'll mix that all together. We're going to turn the heat down just a little. And then we just put it in a 9 by 13 casserole pan. You don't have to spray it at all because I used a little bit of oil in there. If I didn't use the oil to saute the onion, I would probably spray the pan to bake it. But as soon as it's all mixed up thoroughly, we're just going to pour it into the 9 by 13 pan and we're going to put it into the oven to bake um, on 350 for about 25 minutes. All right, our Spanish rice baked for about 25 minutes in the oven. We just took it out. It's piping hot and ready to eat. So I have my chips ready. I'm going to get my peas ready and we're going to have this for lunch. So I hope you enjoy it. 
It is so, so good. You can add any side dish that you want to it. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Have a great day.